Honestly, I think it's a great idea. It's a fast way to get around. I really hate them. For me personally, I would never rent one because I would be liable to fall off. But for the other gen younger generation, why not? E scooters could be rolling into Vancouver. Down on Kaufman, I think it'd be a nice little addition at least. The city council discussed the possibility at a workshop Monday. We have kind of sat back and watched how other cities have implemented these programs as quite a few other cities have around the country just to see how they work and operate. Principal transportation planner Jennifer Compost says there's no timeline for starting a pilot program here yet. They'll need to do more research as they consider the pros and cons. So it really comes more towards enforcement. So we know a lot of cities have had issues where scooters or bikes have been left in the sidewalk, preventing ADA access, people with mobility challenges trying to get through sidewalk areas, up curb ramps. Another big factor, safety. I just hate the fact that there's no way for people to easily wear a helmet, so they're in danger. Driving downtown, sometimes they don't pay attention to what's going on, but you know, that's just the person themselves, not the scooters. Compo says there have been 13 deaths related to e-scooters across the country and many more injuries. The city is looking at ways to minimize that. If we wanted to really consider initiating a pilot program, we would need to do a lot of work over the winter. So it could be a while before you'll be scooting around Vancouver. And Compo says public opinion will be a big part of the discussion. There's people that really hate them or there's people that really love them. And so we would just be open to hearing from the community kind of what they think about these as we talk about moving forward. Compo says both Lime and Bird Scooter companies have reached out to the city interested in bringing their programs to Vancouver, but there's still a lot of work that needs to happen before a pilot program takes shape. A new mobility commission will then take up the issue before it heads to council. Compo doesn't expect that commission to form until the end of the year at the earliest. So this isn't happening anytime soon. And the public, of course, will have plenty of time to weigh in as well because I am not a trooper on those scooters. I am way too wobbly. But I mean, for the people who like them, they really do work. Love them or hate them is like a cliche saying, but it fits this it perfectly. It totally does. People totally. Love so them divided them. over it. Hey, it in Vancouver, is. next time you want to check out the scooters, you don't have to fly to Denver. Just <laughs> There's plenty, right? Right across the river. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany.